Hi and welcome to Nexovia. I'm Wes Marshall, physiotherapist here in the UK and developer of Nexovia Classic and Nexovia Mini. Um, today's subject is tension headaches, uh, also known as cervicogenic headaches because the cervical spine uh, is very often responsible for tension headaches um, or neck headaches they're sometimes called uh, and even some migraines are actually misdiagnosed and actually have their origin uh, in the neck and the reason being because migraines very often have a, a visual or eye component to them and so do cervicogenic headaches or tension headaches because they can refer into the eye, into the back of the eye, around the eye and also into the, the temporal region. So um, what causes them? Normally three things. One is tight soft tissue at the back and stiff joints. Um, now there are numerous joints at the base of the skull, at the top of the neck, and they are small, but there's many, many of them, uh, and they can become stiff and tight and, and uncomfortable, and tension headaches will very often come from that region. Uh, in addition to that, there's numerous small nerves that exit through that area, and they can be, uh, they can be a problem as well. So that all sounds like bad news, but the good news is, because they come from the neck, if you work on the neck, you can very often help to relieve the tension headaches um, and not suffer with them constantly and not have to take medication too often either. So what do you need to do? Well, you basically need to open up that part of the neck. The, uh, the best way of doing that is um, posture. You, if you improve your posture so that you're uh, not, not sitting like this and not sitting like this, uh, that can massively help because you can imagine if you're like this, you're, you're closing down the area that I've described and creating that effect. But also, if you sit like this, then you're overworking these muscles because they have to work hard to stop your head falling forward. So they become dysfunctional and tight uh, and uncomfortable. Uh, and that can lead to tension headaches too. So posture is enormously important in sorting out tension headaches. Um, and neck surgery is also very good uh, because that's what it does. It stretches out that area in particular. Um, and opens those joints and stretches that soft tissue. So I'll just demonstrate exactly how that happens. So with next uh, this is next over mini. If you fold it in half or so and you place it behind your neck, okay, completely relax onto it before you let it go. Uh, next over is trying to open up, but it can't because your head and your shoulders get in the way. So it puts a stretch onto your neck, and as you can see, it puts the chin into a tucked in position, which is really healthy posturally. But in addition to that, it's stretching out the soft tissue uh, at the back of the neck, and in particular around the base of the skull and the top of the neck, and uh, also opening up those, those small joints I was describing. So um, all you have to do is just, just lay there and relax onto it while it's creating that effect for you. So uh, next thing is very good for improving tension and headaches and reducing medication as a result of that. Um, but posture is also enormously important. So take a look at your workstation Take a look at how long you might be spending on a laptop without a break. Take a look at how long you're spending on your phone, etc. Um, that's it, basically. That's a quick look at tension headaches and, and what, what their causes and what can be done about it. Uh, next day, we'll roll in, in trying to help improve the situation. Um, we're here to help. If you have any questions regarding the use of Nexavia or tension headaches, etc., uh, just get in touch at uh, www.nexavia.com. Uh, or info at nextsavior.com. Thank you.